We are back on the ML Sports Platter. It is Belmont Week at Saratoga. That's right. It is at right. Saratoga this year for the first time. And uh, as they obviously uh, do their thing down at Belmont with the unbelievable renovations. But of course, we bring back our guy, the Director of Marketing for Batavia Downs Gaming and Western OTB, proud sponsors of the ML Sports Platter. Make sure you check out the concert series, stay and play, all the big packages at BataviaDownsGaming.com. Might be the busiest guy I know currently day to day. It's Ryan Hassenauer. My guy, how are you, man? Thanks for having me, Mike. Yeah, it's busy between the golf tournament, coaching, oh. getting ready for the Belmont this week, get ready for the concert series. We have a big concert meeting today, company-wide, to talk about everything. So it's all coming together here in the next couple months. Yeah, no doubt. So quick, just give you the floor on the Belmont here. Who do you like? Some key storylines. Let's hear it. Yeah, so, you know, this is the rubber match, right? Mystic Dan uh, sees the gray. You know, the two of them are going to be trying to figure out who's going to be the uh, number one contender for the three-year-old of the year uh, in this match. But at the same time in this race, you know, they're not the favorites. Neither one of them is the favorites. The I favorite know. It's weird. Sierra Leone, uh, yeah. who, of course, was beaten by a nose in the derby. Uh, Sierra Leone is um, going to have Flavian Pratt on the back instead of Tyra Gaff Leone. So, you know, a little bit of a jockey change. That's an interesting situation there. Um, you know, the other, of course, overlying storyline with this whole thing, Mike, is that it's at Saratoga. It's not at Belmont. It's not a mile and a half. It's a mile and a quarter. So, uh, you know, can Sierra Leone get a better trip than he got in the Derby where he came second? Still battled a little bit with some horses here and there. But with a lot less horses, is he going to have a lot left in the tank to make that run down the stretch at Saratoga to get the win and uh, make it a three-way race for uh, the three-year-old of the year. So we talked last time about how I, I was hoping not for a triple crown just because right. I didn't want to deal with the <laughs> arguing and the asterisks and all this sort of thing. Now that we don't have to worry about that, I can kind of sit back and maybe relax and enjoy it a little bit. But it is different from the length standpoint. It still isn't a traditional Belmont length, which I still don't like despite at least getting the part – that I did get already, which was not having the triple crown, not worrying about it in terms of the historical narratives and, and talking points. But I bring up the shorter distance with these horses. Do you see an edge for anyone? I mean, obviously these are the greatest horses in the world, the greatest jockeys in the world. Right. Is there a horse jockey, maybe just horse where you see because of the length being shortened, the amount of horses, Saratoga, the way it is, climate, assuming it's going to be nice and not pouring rain, all of those things that you see, hey, I think that horse has the edge because it is a shorter length. Well, you know, it's, I think there's there's more possible contenders, right? I mean, when the Belmont comes around every year, the test of the champion, a mile and a half, who's got the breeding for it, all those things. Um, you take a look and you make those decisions and you say, well, I can throw out this horse, maybe I can throw out this horse. But I think the the length being shortened opens it up for so many more horses. I mean, you got Dornock, who was, I believe, the one the right. had the one hole in the Derby. He's a full brother of Mage, who <laughs> won the Derby at this length, a mile and a quarter. Yeah. So Dornock didn't have a great run, you know, there in the uh, in the Derby. He finished in tenth, and yet, you know, his speed numbers are going down. So he's on the wrong side, right? You like to see your horse uh, improve as you get later in the year. But you know, Dornock's there. You know, Mystic Dan did his thing and, and won the Derby at this length. Um, you know, sees the gray, you know, he probably benefited from an off track. You know, I just was checking on my computer here. It went from being a 50% chance of rain now down to like 30, right? Uh, 24%. Yeah. yeah okay. 20, at least what I'm saying, there's a million websites, right? For weather, but <laughs> um, yeah. And, and a high is 68. So a, a cool breeze there. I might want to bring your sweatshirt if you pick and click for the weather, 22, 26%. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with the weather. Obviously yeah. if the weather does come, I mean, there is some, some things to take a look at, but you've also got this horse mind frame, the 10 horse at seven to two. Uh, who's the second choice favorite two lifetime starts. That's it. But, you know, and he won a maiden race and he won an allowance race. Um, but, you know, you've got Erat Ortiz, you know, and you've got Todd Pletcher. So it's, you know, Todd Pletcher and Erat Ortiz aren't, aren't riding some horse that's a nobody or that they, that they think is going to be a nobody. So imagine if all of a sudden this is the coming out party for uh, Mindframe, who just all of a sudden just blows in and just is like, hey, everybody, I'm here and I'm I'm going to be one of the best three-year-olds, even though I didn't race in these other races. So I think the, the shorter... Um, the shorter length of this race opens it up where it really is wide open. I mean, there's a couple ones I'm going to probably end up throwing out, but uh, in terms of not putting them in my bets, but I just think there's a lot of 
possibility of things that can happen today or on, well, on, on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Ryan Hassenauer with us, the marketing manager for Batavia Downs Gaming and Western OTB. Make sure, hit your local OTBs, get to BataviaDownsGaming.com for the great concert series and the stay and play packages as well. Two quick hit topics. I'll let you run and get on to the next 700 sure. things you got to do today. Great golf tournament over the week. I got to get into this thing next year. I mean, my favorite running back is there, Thurman Thomas. You guys look like you're having a blast. Terry Hills, one of my favorite golf courses, by the way. I played it, gosh, forever ago with my cousins, uh, Kyle and Doug Duty. But um, how about the course? How'd it go? It looked like you guys had a hell of a day uh, weather-wise and a yeah. lot of great scores too, man. It's one of the great tournaments out there in, in New York State. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. You know, we kind of keep it light. Uh, we have a hole where we have, you know, beer sampling, and then you can like spin the wheel to win prizes from Batavia Downs. But, you know, we kind of keep it pretty short. You know, some of these golf tournaments that you see oh. some places, it's 152 people, it's 176 people. It's like, well, that's great if you want to be on the course for six and a half hours. Right. But, um, you know, what we like to do is kind of keep it light so it goes quick. Four, four and a half hours, then you're back in Batavia Downs for a giant banquet with a buffet and with door prizes and other things. And as you mentioned, Thurman's there. We had Danny Gare, Sabres legend. Danny Gare was there too, taking pictures, golfing. Uh, you know, we had a good, we had a good day, Mike. I had, uh, we were a minus seven when I scrambled. That's not too bad. You know, minus seven is pretty good. Um, and I chipped in from the sand, which was great. Uh, the fact Where's that we had to take Where's a stand shot. Yeah, I, I know, right? I could have, I should have had some tape me. Come on, I would have put that on my YouTube page for you. <laughs> The uh, it was great, you know, chipping yeah. out of the sand, uh, not ideal in a scramble that your best shot of the four of you was a sand shot, but everybody else was in the woods or was way off to the side. So we said, yeah, let's take the sand shot. <clears throat> so I just stepped up, popped it right in there and hit the pin, dropped down wow. and I uh, got to give Thurman a high five. And, you know, that's one of your highlights of your life right there, yeah. you know, doing yeah. something cool like that and, and to be with uh, somebody so cool as, as Thurman. But um, yeah. And I wanted to bring something into that because when you think about sports, golf versus all the other ones, right? You can't run like Thurman Thomas. You can't run through Ray Lewis. You can't, you know, stop Connor McDavid on a breakaway, right? You can't stop LeBron James, Michael Jordan going to the hole one on one. But in golf, you had a moment like a Tiger Woods or a Jack Nicholas in a tournament next to a football Hall of Famer. You can in golf for you and for your course and where you're playing. You can chip in from the sand and have one of those big shots. You can make a 12-foot putt for birdie. I missed an ace two days ago by a foot and a half. It would have been my uh -huh. third. So, and I was playing by myself, too, but I had people on holes everywhere. And I said to the guy next to me, I go, and I hit it so well with a five iron. I knew it. And I looked at the guy, I go, hey, hey, I, I go, this goes in. And he, he goes, I go, is that in? And he goes, man, that's close. And it was behind the hole. My point is, you can't, you can't catch a pass from Joe Montana. It's impossible. But in golf, we can do those little things that you did from the sand. I think that's one of the big separators with golf and what makes it so amazing. And in a tournament next to a legend like Thurman, please. It was oh. the best. Yeah. And you're, you're right. I mean, the golf is one of those every man sports that, you know, and you get, you get lucky the, 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 you just get a hold of it right with the five iron, the wind goes the right way. You get yep. that kick off the hill. Yep. Anything can happen. Anyone can have a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No doubt. It's one of, I mean, I, golf, I can go on and on about why it's, so amazing. So in the final minute or so we have here, holy smokes, man. Summertime is here. June, yep. full of concerts, stay and play packages. Have the floor here, Ryan, for Batavia Downs Gaming and all the amazing things happening. Yeah, so if you're into doing something this weekend, come see us for the Belmont. We've got the Bourbon and Whiskey Fest. Um, you right. can sample bourbons and whiskeys for two and a half hours. You get a $5 wager on the Belmont. You get some free play for the gaming floor. We have um, the gift is this incredibly cool whiskey glass that's got the hole in the side. I mean, it's not a hole. The whiskey would fall out. But you know what I mean? It's got a little indentation in the side for your cigar to hang. Oh so man! The cigar that goes in the side of the whiskey glass. So while you're drinking your whiskey glass, your cigar, which presumably is lit, is is protected. You don't have to do like the two thing. You know, yeah, you yeah. I'm sending this to cigar. all my buddies who are cigar yeah. drinkers. Every one of them. So everyone should have one of those at their house if they got one. So it's going to be really fun. We're going to have that uh, ready to go for your gift when you come in. Uh, so get tickets for that on BataviaConcerts.com. Of course, that's where you go to get your tickets for the Summer Concert Series. Smash Mouth is coming through. I just got all their stuff yesterday. Who's coming? Uh, what, you know, what kind of food they need? You know, the transportation. You know, we do it all here at Batavia Downs. We take care of every single one of these awesome bands, and they come in. Uh, you know, from head to toe, making sure that they're all taken care of and making sure they're having a good experience themselves when they come through Batavia Downs. So BataviaConcerts.com to get tickets for that. 
and you know really just enjoying having everybody come out for the summer with all the different games that we have all the different new machines that we have all the other events that are going on we've got flea markets in the parking lot who doesn't love a good flea market like uh, we got those a couple times this summer um we're doing murder mystery dinners right. um so you can come on out if you've ever done one of those kind of like you know um Tony and Tina's wedding or like one of those places where there's people in the crowd that are actually actors that are like part of the show. Um, but these ones are going to be themed uh, for the Brady Bunch and the Golden Girls. So really fun, really interesting, something you don't normally nice. see. So there's always something cool and new and different that we're doing at Batavia Down. So again, check out our socials. You know, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, uh, X, and you can check all those things out and just uh, stay up to date on all the things we got going on. So. X, Twitter, I, you know, I don't know what to call it. It's always it. Twitter. It's always going to be Twitter for me. I know, me too. <laughs> well, look, this was tremendous as always. Enjoy the Belmont Stakes at Batavia Downs Gaming. Get to your local OTBs. Get to the concert series and all the rest. And yes, 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 follow them all over the social platforms. You guys are so active. Even I can't keep up, which is saying something because <clears throat> I'm on it all day long as well. But really appreciate uh, you know, you guys being a part of the platform, obviously, Batavia Downs Gaming, Western OTV, visit BataviaDownsGaming.com and the Concert Series page as well for everything this summer going on. He's Ryan Hassenauer, and you can follow him on Twitter uh, as well. Ryan, thank you so much. Congrats on the big shot in the tournament, and thank I'll be you. talking to you. I know we're going to be texting like crazy during the races this weekend, man. Thanks so much. Absolutely, man. Yeah, and, and my pick, by the way, I am going to take the nine. I'm going to take Sierra Leone. So yeah, I am too. I got all my eggs in that basket. <laughs> all right, Ryan, thank you. You're the best, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for the time.